I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So today it's going to be a four card oracle you pick with the dyadic cross uh, finish, uh, two different decks. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so today it's going to be a four card oracle you pick with a dyadic cross finish, two different decks. And I thought for the first uh, uh, cards, those oracle cards, this uh, golden art uh, nouveau tarot would be cool to use. And then we'll finish off the dyadic uh, cross with uh, this revival art. Uh, tarot cards and these are really amazing so but i'll show you these first because i haven't used these in a while i don't think um, but i kind of lose track um they're nice cards they're kind of gilded and you can see they're you know shiny and i don't think it'll be too shiny with the light in here but um they're you know traditional looking uh, old world uh, tarot cards and uh, just kind of what you'd expect uh, in some uh, dark uh, old ladies uh, uh velvet draped uh, tarot table <laughs> so these are great. They show up really, they do show up well in, in uh, dim light. As a matter of fact, they kind of take on a whole other effect. But, uh, so that's what we're going to start off with on those for the Oracle. So we'll pick four of them. And uh, so you decide, remember, uh, get your mind clear. Think about what it is that uh, you want to uh, know about. And uh, just still yourself. You know, you can stop the tape at any time and uh, make yourself comfortable if you need to think about the cards after I've dealt them out. So don't feel like you've got to be in a rush. Um, wow, these cards are working really well for me today. Look at this, like a pro. So these are typical, these are kind of like playing cards, aren't they? Are they longer than playing cards? I haven't held some playing cards in a while. So doing a little bit of this. This is going to be the four card oracle, four card, one, two, three, four card oracle, four card oracle for these viewers these viewers now four card oracle what you got for me two three four okay here we go look at that this one wants to come out so he's got to be one of them one I'll say two three and then four so easy enough won't need these anymore as a matter of fact so i'll just put them over here kind of out of the way yeah so these are the ones you're going to pick from you got one two three and four one two three four one two three four remember you can stop the tape one two three four now we're going to see what these four oracles have to tell us and they will be the signifier and the dyadic cross that's going to that's going to follow Okay, so for number one, if that's what you pick, this is the Eight of Swords. And this is really feeling trapped, like you can't move, you can't get out of the situation. Uh, something's uh, really uh, making you confined. It could be just in spirit. But, you know, the swords uh, are usually something pretty concrete. I mean, they're usually rules, uh, regulations, laws, uh, truths, justices. Uh, could be health, but you know this is a lot of swords. So I'll say you know that whatever is is ruling you right now is really making you feel. And, you know that's by the way that's no. So that's a no card. Number two, uh, if this is what you pick, the number two card. Uh, this one is the uh, ten of wands. And, you know wands are plans, uh, actions, movement, uh, fire, uh, power, uh, getting things together, getting things done, making the decision. And the ten of wands, especially this fellow, has got a heavy bundle. It's a hard, you know, a heavy load to uh, push forward, but he's figured it out. He's got them balanced, but I mean, it could go off at any time. But uh, so this is, uh, you, can, you can get it done. This is kind of a yes card, but there's reservations. So that's what we got there. If you pick number three, number three was your choice, then uh, this is the magician. You know, this is a big yes card right off the bat. Magician has everything uh, on the table that he needs to make something happen. So if you pick number three card, this is a big yes. And I can't wait to see how this might get further uh, defined uh, in a minute. So, but if you pick number four, 
then the signifier card or the oracle card is going to be the six of wands. And again, six of wands, motion, movement, power, plans, getting it done. But the six of wands, this guy has won the day. So this is celebrations on top of all of that. So it's a happy, uh, a big yes also, by the way, uh, for, for number four. So we got no, we got uh, yes with a push. Uh, we got um, uh, uh, yes and yes. So no, yes, 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 but this could be a tough yes. So let's turn these back over and take a look at the divining cards. So these are the uh, Revival Art uh, Taracho Studio uh, cards, and they're they're not they're beautiful. They're expensive, as a matter of fact. I paid more for these than I thought I did, and uh, by twice. So uh, they're nice. I mean, they're really. I'm not upset at all that I have these cards. They're really beautiful. The guidebook is not very useful. It's just pretty standard stuff. I've written in really teeny tiny. The box is cheap, you know. But the cards, I tell you what, they bring it. Start the cards bring it to the show. So if you don't remember what they look like, you know I'm going to show you. So they're just like this. They're really artful, beautiful, a lot of expression and mood and emotion inside these cards. And I love looking at them. I love using them because I feel like I'm in a, an art gallery. We walk in through the halls, and get, but I get to touch them and hold them and look at them really close. So, you know, they're nice cards and they have a pleasant message. There's not a, a real dark message in these cards. So they're perfect for this kind of a uh, oracle uh, definition sort of thing. So we're going to divide each of those four. One, two, three, and four, uh, just like we have done in the past, and uh, see what happens. I'm going to give this a little bit of a shuffle though, because they seem to be kind of, I don't know, they're kind of stuck together. Like, uh, it's been too long since I've used them. Yeah, they're kind of, it's kind of stiff actually, but uh, they did shuffle. So let's do a few of those, and then uh, maybe we'll cut them, spread them out, and get a, a choice. To see how hard it was to pack those back in together. Watch that. I mean, they're really they're getting loose over there. And uh, what's that number four? Someone told me seven is a good number. So I don't know. We'll just get them shuffled up till we feel like they're loose. So keep whatever your question is in your mind, you know. Be able to bring it back to the four when you need it. And um, hopefully this will ring for you. If it doesn't, you know, we tried. <laughs> so here we go. One more time. And we'll spread them out. If we cut them. And take out five cards to define that first one. Okay, this is going to be wow, it doesn't look come in there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're done with these for now. So we'll just put them right here. And get me started. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So if you pick number one, uh, the number one oracle card was that no card. So that's the eight of swords. And this is really feeling, feeling restrained by, you know, I think it's the rules, it's the laws, it's uh, something uh, of, around you. And um, that's what's going on for you right now. Really, really restrained. So that's the signifier card. The challenge to that then is the, um, what is this, the five of swords and you know the five of swords is kind of feeling uh i'll show you this card it's kind of the five of swords is kind of feeling like somebody's been taken advantage of um it's again swords where we started out with the signifier of the eight of swords so none of this looks great the challenge to feeling restricted is the fact that something has been taken advantage of it could be that you've been taken advantage of somewhere you've taken advantage of someone else um i don't know but the base of this then is going to be the uh, queen of wands and uh, remember, the wands wands are motion, movement, power, plans, and man, the queen of wands should really have some plans, and that's the basis of this reading. So somebody's hard set uh, plan, who really felt authoritative in that regard, uh, has come to this, and in the past of this, the very recent past, is going to be the eight of cups, and. Um, you know, the eight of cups is a good card to have. I mean, it's, it's a place you don't mind being. Um, you can't really join the group, but it's not that you're thrown out. So I would say the Eight of Cups in the past is sort of where this started to go uh, sour right here. Uh, the signifier for this uh, diet cross then is the Ten of Coins. And, you know, that's everything you want. The Ten of Coins is absolute uh, uh, well-being, uh, good value, uh, could even be uh, familial wealth. 
So uh, 10 of coins is a good place to be uh, in this reading. So let's put that right here. Yeah. Okay, 10 of coins. The likely outcome then is the, uh, the five of cups. And the five of cups is kind of feeling sorrowful about what has spilt over, but you've still got, you know, two cups remaining. Um, so you've got something to pick yourself up and get going again on, but you can't deny yourself uh, the grieving of, uh, of the loss of that uh, spilt, uh, I'll say spilt milk, but it could be certainly something very serious. So just to recap quickly, so coming out of this, really feeling restricted, uh, challenged by um, a sense of uh, loss or betrayal could be. Uh, in, the, in the very beginning of everything, it had been a real strong plan uh, for moving forward. Uh, there had been some separation. Um, there was the possibility of everything you could ever want. And then um, in the end, we, we find this, we still follow this track of feeling uh, like um, we need to grieve a little bit. But we've got something left in us to keep going. So that was that no, and I feel real sorry for that. But now if your card was number two, put these back in the pack and see what we come up with for number two. These are really amazing. I even still kind of feel like the powder that comes on them uh, when you first get your cards. So I think I've become a new card um, freakophile. So I think we have to call it quits at some point as soon as I have enough decks to work with. <laughs> so this one is going to be number two. Number two, if you pick number two, what was that hard yes? I mean, you know, yes, that would require some work. So number two, five cards for you, number two. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, that's good. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. All good. And the signified card was, of course, that Ten of Wands, which is, you know, moving it forward with a lot of effort. But, you know, it's possible. But, I mean, it could stop at any time. So that's a really delicate yes that we had there. What is that challenged by? That's challenged by uh, the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is, you know, this is the knight taking a rest with his noble dog waiting by his side. And the Four of Swords is that. It's knowing that it's time to stop. You better take a break at your peril. Uh, if you get up and get moving too soon. So moving this heavy load is uh, challenged by knowing when uh, you just need to stop and uh, give it a minute. Uh, the base of this reading then is going to be the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is really, you know, lots of stuff coming at you at the same time. It's almost uh, an immovable uh, force of uh, issues that will need to be dealt with. Eight of Wands. So it started out here at the base of a lot of stuff coming at us at the same time. In the past, uh, this was the uh, Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups in the past is, you know, remembering that great time we had before. Everything was rosy, and we had nothing but fun and laughter to look forward to. So that was in the past, and uh, that's uh, just the recent past that we've come off of and then set off into this difficult uh, push. But in the sky for this reading is the sun. And so that lets you know that there's hope. You know, this can get done. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but look, it can happen. And so the sun is up at the top of this reading, and the likely outcome for this hard fought for yes is then, look at that, that's not bad. That's the fool, and the fool is getting off on a new foot, starting off new, uh, you know, like a babe in the woods, ready to try whatever's going to happen. And so if it does get to that point, uh, this will be the beginning of a cycle, and the beginning of a cycle is always good. So that's what we got if you chose number two. Put him back up there. Now we'll get these guys back in the deck again. And I put these the right way. Yes, of course I am. And see what we can find out for number three. You chose number three. This is going to be the Dianic Cross uh, for that uh, particular uh, Oracle card. Okay, here we go. This was a nice yes. And we're going to see if you had number three, what. What this mean for you? Number three, five cards. Finish it off. Again, it's going to be one, two, three, four. 
This one is upside down. I'm not going to pick it. Or am I? I'm going to pick it. Five. And we know what it is already. Oh my gosh, I've done two of them. That's what they're, we'll find out what they mean in a minute. So we'll see if that makes a difference in the reading. So you guard the last fella here. And we'll see what we get for these cards. If you pick number three, then this is the magician. This is really having every, it was almost magic the way that happened with those cards. This is, or, or just clumsy, because there's still a few in there that are facing the wrong way. Um, this magician has everything that he needs at his fingertips, ready to be commanded. And uh, and so this is a big, strong, yes, this this is fine. So this will happen. The challenge to that then is uh, one of those cards, and it was the sun. And uh, so the sun is, you know, illumination, um, prosperity, um, you know, celebration. The sun is everything glorious. And uh, so a challenge to uh, having whatever you need your, at your fingertips is the celebration is the glory i don't know how that fits in to tell you the truth um is, is it too much is it knowing which um one of these is going to bring you to that that's the challenge let's see what the base of the pack is the base of this pack is the other card and that's the six of cups and the six of cups again is just you know happy family great times uh remembering how great things were and probably can be again so so far this is a very cheery uh, reading for number three and then the uh, past and this was the uh, three of coins and the three of coins always speaks to us of uh, getting together to get uh, this value out uh, ready for public uh, use or public display or public approval you know putting a piece of art if you've been painting and you haven't shown your art this would be the time that you want to take it outside prop it up against the fence and see if anybody stops and takes a look at it so this is the three of coins in the past there in the sky for this then is the ace of cups and you know that a cups are emotion and passion and and uh getting things uh right in your head so the ace of cups is there's a great big offer of that way up in the sky so that's a great big possibility that wonderful uh, emotional situations can come with this but the likely outcome of this then is the chariot and the chariot just tells us that this is a major arcana and these things can be can move along quickly and nobody in this chariot is having a bad time so yeah this started out as a great big beautiful yes it just got brighter it got happier you know we had a reflection on what it took to get here we have shoot for the stars kind of going here and that this can happen uh quickly if we want it to so yes 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 so that was number three now if you pick number four so uh, this guy has got to live up and i've got some cards in here that are backwards so let's flip those over while i'm thinking about it and they're so tight that you can't really uh, pick out anymore let's see that's another one right there there's another one right there i think we're good so put all these back in and i'm sure you watched me put those cards in there uh, upside down and backwards or backwards anyway a while ago and you didn't stop me so i don't appreciate that you know friends um, help friends uh, avoid making fools of themselves so you know shame on you but anyway here we go four number four if that's the card you picked in this four card oracle number four we're going to have an answer for you in just a minute and you want to get that uh, foremost in your brain uh, be thinking about that card or that question or that issue that you want to dealt with and let's see if we're going to get an answer in five more cards to what you're dealing with Number four. We're not going to cut the cards. We're going to go right for it. We'll take five. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Okay, we will put these over here. We'll stack these back up for having fallen down. And so, if you chose number four. This was the Six of Wands, and these are celebrations. These are plans that worked out. This is movement. This is action forward. And this is, you know, big, big, big yes. You know. So there we go. The challenge to that big yes, if you chose number four, is the Six of Wands again. Wow. So this is a double verification. So this is a Six of Wands. This is a Six of Wands. It's just depicted a little bit differently. But there's still celebration, moving forward, action. And so this is like a big double yes 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 the challenge to all this celebration is the celebration so interesting uh, the base of this reading then 
is going to be who are you the two of wands well the two of wands is planning you know it's sitting down figuring out what the plan is going to be uh how we can work it out even if drawing it in the sand you might have to but wands are plans action motion uh forward and uh, planning and that's how this all started uh from a plan in the uh, recent past of this reading then is the nine of cups and you know the nine of cups i always refer to him as a greedy merchant this kind of guy does look a little greedy and he's got everything he wants he's extremely happy to have accumulated it and uh, looks at the years of experience look a little foolish in this picture but uh, that's what we had here in the recent past the nine of cups really uh, happy with what he's got on display in the sky of this reading is the king of wands interesting i mean the king of wands you know we're, we're still into wands here and the King of Wands has absolutely got his plans, his actions, his movement, uh, his forward motion uh, under control. And this King looks very secure in his uh, in the way he's uh, conducting himself in this picture. So the King of Wands uh, is the skies, which you would aim for in the situation. And the likely outcome then is the Two of Cups. And the Two, two of Cups is partnerships. This could actually be uh, love, but it's uh, getting together with someone or uh, some entities uh, joining together that can uh, make uh, whatever this is happen. So it started out as a nice, uh, very strong yes. It doubled down as another Six of Wands yes. Um, it was some planning that went into it. It was happy times before, shoot for the moon and um, partner up with who is necessary. And uh, this is a big, strong, yeah, this can happen. So, well, that was a nice uh, reading for those cards today. And I hope it did something for you. I'm just amazed that everything works out so well with these uh, readings. So no matter which one of those you had, I think there was a clear picture. And if it doesn't fit for you, maybe it fits for somebody you know, or maybe you come back to it in a bit and look, read through it and see if uh, the same cards or different cards mean something for you. I don't know. My name's Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. Coming back tomorrow, I'll be right here and we'll take a trip somewhere else. Ciao for now.